Namaste YouTube, welcome to Beto Eats. Yesterday, I had the chance to go to my very first Diwali party and it was such an amazing experience. And of course, I wanted to share my experience with you so I took my camera and I did a little bit of vlogging. So I'll be commentating over what happened. You'll even see me dance, so make sure you stick to the end of this video. Walking into this party hall, my very first impressions were wow, look at all of the vibrant colors. The ladies were wearing these beautiful dresses with different colors. The men were also wearing like long shirt type things. I wasn't too familiar with like what the traditional clothes was, so I decided to ask my friend, Manisha. Alright, we are back. This is my friend Manisha. She's going to explain to you exactly what the tradition is, what you should wear for a Diwali party. Of course, I'm a little underdressed for this party, but Manisha here can definitely help me on what to wear for the next party. So, Manisha? So, Diwali is a festival of lights. Awesome, thank you Manisha. And once I was educated on these traditions on what to wear, I have, of course I have to go check out the food. As I walked over to the food, I noticed a huge line, so of course I have to go and wait my turn, but I was so hungry, man. I'm currently in line right now. I'm getting really excited to try this food. I haven't eaten since 7 p.m. last night, so I really gotta get to that food. Once I get to that food, I will share with you exactly all the dishes that I got in my plate and maybe share with you the experience of me eating it. For my very first plate, I got a little bit of everything. You know me, Beto Eats has to try everything. So you see the gulab jamun, you see the butter chicken, you see all the different curries, there's some paneer in here, there's some vegetable biryani, so many things, so many great things. There was a few things that I didn't know what exactly they were, but maybe some of you know. Uh, I'll be showing you a little clip where I'm just munching on a little round fried ball. Maybe you could all help me with this, help me know what the name of this thing is. It was so delicious. Throughout the party, they also had some mini games. So the very first game that our table had to play was called charades. The main idea is they give somebody on your table a word in a piece of paper and that person has to act out without saying verbally what, what the word is. And if your table guesses, then you score a point. The very first word we got, I believe, was like washing machine or washing clothes. And really, I really thought she was like mowing the lawn. This to me looks like she's mowing the lawn, but I guess I was wrong. For my second dish, I got some more sweets. I got some ladoos, I got some halva. It was delicious. There was also some interesting dishes like an Indian noodle dish that I've never had that you can see here. I also got some chutneys, some coconut chutneys, and some fried fritters, uh, things kind of like pakoras, I believe that's the name of them. It was all really mouthwatering delicious. The second game that was played during the party was a game where you get a big group of people, they form a line, and then the very person in the back of the line has to make up some type of action. So somebody could be doing like a, like a ooh, 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 and then the next person has to reenact the uh, 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 uh. But every person that it goes by, that this action goes by, it gets really funny because they forget maybe like the thing was like this and all of a sudden people are doing some like crazy thing with their hands. So it was very fun, very entertaining to watch and of course participate in. Towards the end of the party, a lot of people were leaving but then they started playing some music so some of my coworkers said, hey Beto Eats, go on that stage. And of course, Beto Eats does not back down from a dance challenge. <laughs> Oh, 
This has been the Wally 2019. If you're not a follower of Beto Eats, make sure you're a follower of Beto Dude, Eats. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, thank you for watching. Wow.